Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I really hope that you are all doing well. This is a very small Poundland haul today. I have finally left the house. In fact, I haven't gone today. Matt and I went at the weekend. Um, but I needed a lot of toiletries and I needed a lot of home products. I had no bin liners, for example. I had no bleach. Um, and loads of sort of random bits. But I was just a bit dubious about going to the supermarket. Because if you don't know, because of my medication, I'm supposed to be self-isolating. But I just, I hate not having independence and i just needed to get off i knew what i wanted so i just wanted to get out and get some bits and pieces so we decided to go to poundland we went to a high street one um and it wasn't busy at all i think there were about three other people in there the whole time we were in there we were in that about 10 15 minutes um, oh sorry bin men have got down the road um so it was actually quite quite pleasant we got most of what we needed to do i did actually want some vaseline uh, body lotion uh, moisturizer but they didn't have any um, but most of the other bits and pieces I managed to pick up now I'm not going to share all those bits with you because I know most of my loyal subscribers aren't really interested in seeing bottles of bleach and toothpaste and um, so I'm just going to kind of show you the craft bits that I picked up while I was in there um, and I just wanted to show you this really really cute bag it's obviously Easter themed and I stupidly did not bring any of my bazillion bags that I have at home um you can see how out of touch with shopping I am um, and I just thought this was really really cute and I have said before I really do like the Poundland ones because they've just got slightly longer handles um, and I like the size of them so yeah I picked that up for a pound um, Matt also picked up randomly one of these dart balls um, I don't know if everyone, anyone's ever played with these before but they're quite fun um, obviously at the moment we're quite restricted in where we can go and what we can do I mean I've got quite a long driveway at least <laughs> can at least play it there um, but we just thought it'd be really fun for when we are sort of in the parks or on beaches and stuff, you know, when the day comes. Um, we just thought this would be quite fun to leave in the boot of the car. We always leave like a picnic bag and a picnic blanket and some random bits in both boots of the cars, of the boots of both of our cars. So that would be quite a fun thing. We should have picked up two actually and put one in each car, I didn't think of that. Um, oh well. Um, one of the main reasons I also chose Poundland is because I've been printing a lot of photos off recently um, and I normally get my, my photo paper from Poundland so I was hoping that they'd have some and they didn't have any in this store which was unfortunate but I did have a little perusal through the craft bit and I found these really really cute pencil cases got this little ice cream cone on the front and I love pencil cases like this I mean I love sequins you know I do um, but I just thought this was really fun I loved sort of the movement of the sequins and one thing that I need to do is I've got an absolute ton of USB sticks and I need to go through them and sort out which ones are empty, which ones are full, um, condense it down, get rid of all the rubbish that I don't need anymore. And I just thought these would be really useful to store them in afterwards. So I thought they were really, really cute. I picked up two. Um, yeah, also they'd be really good for friend mail if I wanted to include them. Um, I also picked up a load of alphabet stickers. Now, I don't actually have any stickers at all. Um, I used to have a load and I don't know what happened to them I know I got rid of a lot of my craft stuff like I cold to the point of like there's stuff I'm like I really wish I hadn't got rid of that but I think I gave them all to my nan I think that's where they went but anyway I haven't got any left now and I was making some cards recently and I could have really done with some letters or some numbers so I literally picked up two packets of the gold letters because I thought if I start writing something and then I run out of one of the letters I'm going to be annoyed because it's we're not free to sort of pop to the shops whenever at the moment as you're all obviously aware so I picked up two sets of the gold letters and one set of the numbers you obviously get a lot more of each of the numbers and I can't imagine I'd use them very much which is why I only picked up one set and I also did the same in the silver I picked up two sets of the letters and then one set of the numbers I don't use them very much um which is why I didn't buy a load um and I thought silver and gold goes with most things so that's why I was quite happy um getting these so I grabbed those while I was in there and then I was super super happy because I don't know if you've seen on my channel before but I made a ton of Star Wars art using a calendar that I picked up in Poundland and before the lockdown was put in place Matt and I had tried to go to several different Poundlands and couldn't find it anywhere and I was gutted because I bought two at the time used one for the art and then the other one I wanted to use as a calendar but you know what I'm like and I know what most of you crafters are like as well we hoard we don't want to use the last of something in case we never get it again so I've been holding on to this calendar because I just didn't want to use it. And then when I was in there, I found, not only did I find Star Wars calendars, they were reduced to 50p. So I therefore bought all of the ones that were left because I'm irrational and I've been stuck in the house for four and a half weeks. So I bought them all. And there you go. I went absolutely mad. <laughs> and I bought nine Star Wars 2020 calendars. Now, I do want to use these to make cards with and to make more art with. 
Um, but I also know that I'd spoken to a couple of people that wanted to do the same and were struggling to find the calendars as well, like Tracy, for example. Hi, Tracy, if you're watching. Um, so I was going to sort of reach out and message them and see if they managed to pick one up or if they wanted me to send them one. Because, well, it's always nice to do a little something, isn't it, at the moment? I was also quite tempted if anybody was interested in me creating any of the Star Wars art. Um, because obviously I've got all the other papers and stuff as well, and I know what I did. Whether or not if you wanted to just drop me a message, I'm happy to sort of sell it. Uh, not at like a, a profit, just enough to sort of cover my resources and, and post it out to you. But yeah, so just drop me an email or a comment if that's something that interests you. Um, I can make them to the size that you want. Obviously, I made mine 8x8 and I'll link the, the video below. And also, actually, my mum then bought us all of the frames that we needed. She treated us. I didn't even realise that she'd done it. She treated us to all the rest of the, the frames and gave them to us a few weeks ago. Matt and I finally put them all into the frames and boxed them up ready for when we move. And I think I filmed the finished products. Um, and I don't think I ever uploaded that. So if, if I have still got them on my phone, if I didn't imagine that, then I'll upload that as well. So you can obviously see what they look like finished. But yeah, so I picked up a load of those. And while I was also looking at the calendars, I picked up two of the Frozen calendar. Because again, I thought I could make some artwork with these bits and pieces. And I've got two friends that have got daughters of sort of the age that like Frozen. One is six and one is eight. Um, is she eight or is she nine now? No, she's nine now. Um, so yeah, so I thought I could make cards and things for them. And I picked up one more of this You Are Magical because I've got an idea for this as well. So I wanted it for the artwork on the back. And that's pretty much it. Oh, the only other two things. I absolutely adore coconut macaroons. Loved them. Absolutely loved them. And they didn't have any. I was so sad. I really wanted to buy another box. I have three left. I had five when we went on lockdown. So I've only eaten two. I think I'm doing really well to save them. Um, but I really wanted to get a box. And they didn't have any. So I picked up a box of the premium All Butter Sweethearts. I really, really like these. As you can see, I've already delved into them. And Matt chose himself a box of the chocolate brownies. And these are the £2 items. So I am hoping that if in the future at some point I get back to the pound shop, um, it won't be yet a while obviously because I don't need to go um, but I'm hoping that I'll go I'll probably go to a different one to see if they've got the coconut ones as well because they are my favorite anyway I'm gonna stop because that's actually quite a long video for quite a, a small haul um, I've probably rambled quite a bit and I do apologize I feel so out of touch I haven't really done proper filming um, at the moment because I've been doing so many projects and filming those but they're taking me so long Um, so yeah so I haven't quite got those ready to share with you but they will be coming up soon i promise um i hope you enjoyed that little video and i'll speak to you all again soon and please stay home stay safe love to you all bye, -bye.